ಅನುದಿನ ಅನುಕ್ಷಣ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ಹೊಸ ಹಾದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗೂಡಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯ ಹಾಕೋಣ ಸಂತಸದಿ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ತಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಾಯಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ dear students and dear viewers i am viresh ji meti teacher of english i welcome you to samveda class 10 third third language english urdu medium dear students today we'll discuss the poem atam song written by sarojini naidu you can see here the picture of sarojini naidu you might have seen many times let us start with this activity so first look at this here i have given a picture to you look and say or try to answer to to this question how is this picture dear dear students beautiful fine see the picture and tell in which season does nature look very pretty and why yeah sure you might have got answer yeah answer is the nature looks very pretty in rainy season because plants get good atmosphere as well as water they grow well and look so beautiful and also at that moment flowers bloom so far this picture is beautiful let's enjoy this poem by singing listen to me i'll sing it listen carefully and try to practice it later leaves are rating cloud is flattering leaves are rating cloud is flattering trees are blowing cold is in the air windy breeze foggy mornings damp gardens red orange and yellow in the in sky atam next stanza like a joy in the heart of sorrow the sunset hangs on a cloud like a joy in the heart of sorrow the sunset hangs on a cloud a golden storm of glittering sheaves of fair and frail and fluttering leaves a golden storm of glittering sheaves of fair and frail and fluttering leaves the wild blows in a cloud the wild blows in a cloud and last stanza hark to a voice that is calling hark to a voice that is calling to my heart in the voice of the wind to my heart in the voice of the wind my heart is weary and sad and alone my heart is weary and sad and alone for its dreams like the fluttering leaves have gone for its dreams like the fluttering leaves have gone and why should i stay behind and why should i stay behind this is it have you enjoyed dear students while singing this poem because of there is beauty there is nature let us just discuss few things what you have listened carefully there we have got few foreign words could you tell me which are those rhyming words in this poem we can call poem also remember that fine there are these rhyming words rhyming words are blowing 
rattling sheaves leaves wind behind air fair gone alone blow to wise choice like that like this could you repeat you can say blowing rattling sheaves leaves wind behind air fair gone alone blow to wise choice good that's nice dear students i hope that you enjoyed singing the poem as well as you really love to listen rhyming words of the poem let us move on to glossary that's most important part of our poetry a poem glossary that means words to know you might have known few words but you need to know more words which have given by poet right ready first word hangs that means depends on depend upon glitter shine with bright light shine with bright light you might have seen the word as well as pictures many were sheaves bunches of wheat maybe we can say godi rashi anna kattagi kattevu nodi godi rashi frail delicate or weak very much delicate malast sukshma flattering to compliment excessively praise more and more flattering means appreciate likewise few more words for you hark that means hear or listen very easy very that means tired tired and next word blowing that means produce a current of air at the moment of blowing air bisvik next word rattle sound of leaves very sensitive then damp means moisture in air you might have seen in the morning adanna nam samanyavagi dinanitya kaanteve and the next word foggy this means misty or dull this is dull for us these are the words which we have discussed now these are under this poem please try to understand them and you can move on to the poem now we'll try to understand about the poet the great poet i can say because of you might have seen the picture as well as you might have heard about our indian nightingale am i correct dear students yes she is sarojini naidu the poet of this poem is sarojini naidu and she is famous as the nightingale of india am i right the nightingale of india is sarojini naidu and her nature she is first indo anglian poet great as well as an orator orator means great speaker good speaker expert and also freedom fighter as well as she is very good speaker okay naidu's poems show combination of fantasy and also delight fantasy means always in a almost tall imagination mode so we think of imagination and also she spoke and she has focused on delight which is pleasure great pleasure we can say we can get this pleasure there in the nature she has written many poems for the state level textbook of 8th standard we have seen there is one more beautiful poem which is about fishermen right sarojini naidu's poetry is intensely indian she is writing about almost all indian indian nature great okay let us we can enjoy this poem just by understanding what is there 
in this poem. Right. Let's move on to first stanza. Okay, we usually say stanza while thinking about poem. We say para while saying about lessons or poses. Fine. Can I start, dear students? This is very, very impressive and very interesting to understand. Right. Poem is so simple and very easy for you. Try to understand it. Leaves are rating, cloud is flattering. Leaves are rating means they are giving caste. They are giving caste. Leaves always try to kannadadali bele kattu anta helte. And cloud is flattering means cloud is appreciating. So the poet Sarojini Naidu has dealt very very softly and simply to understand you. Leaves are rating, cloud is flattering, trees are blowing. At this moment in the nature, trees are blowing. See how beautiful line this is. Trees are blowing means they are in the currency uh, time and at that moment they are looking like blowing. Cold is in the air. In this atmosphere, in this time, we can see there will be cold, wind, windy breeze. Always that wind includes breeze. Foggy mornings. Foggy means almost looking like completely covered with moisture. Foggy mornings. Damp gardens. If you touch gardens, Garden will be like damp. Teva. Nimkayala hashi agate. Like that. Red, orange, and yellow in sky. If you see towards sky, we can see these colors red, orange, and yellow. Am I correct? That is atom. Atom. Remember, my dear, dear students. Let us move on to next stanza. That is second stanza. Like a joy in the heart of sorrow, the sunset hangs on a cloud. See how beautifully compared. Like a joy in the heart of a sorrow. Even though there is sorrow in my heart, I can feel joy. Beautiful. The sunset hangs on a cloud. Sunset, it hangs on cloud. Moda the mele, thelta iro hage kaanastha dayanta. Sunset. A golden storm of glittering shoes. It's all about atom. It's all about atom. A golden storm of glittering shoes. Glittering means very bright. That is in a golden storm. It's shoes of fair and frail and fluttering leaves. It will be very beautiful. It's so nice. And their leaves appreciate the the atmosphere or we can say this atom. The wild blows in a cloud. In this moment, in that cloud we can see wild blow. There is wild blow though it looks beautiful. Have you understood my dear students? It's beautiful explanation as well as it's beautiful narration of atom. And we'll move on to third stanza that is Hark to a voice that is calling. Please listen, hear the voice that is calling to my heart in the voice of the wind. To my heart, see, in the voice of the wind. Wind is calling directly to our heart. My heart is weary. It's very tired and sad and also alone. See, my heart is now very tired and sad as well as single. For its dreams like the fluttering leaves have gone. For its dreams, we feel many dreams. Those dreams like fluttering leaves. A kansukal hege ve, elegal hege haglatai ve, hage, iruvanta uglu, igagle, kalaj hogi ve. And why should I stay behind? Matte na neke ilu ulita illa. 
I should stay here. That's what Atam really requests us. The poet speaks with this Atam. She feels like Atam. Dear students, have you understood this poem? This is beautiful. As I told you, there is about clearly Atam. Maybe I would have asked you a question about Atam. What do you mean by Atam? And when does it come? These questions may arise to you. Here I have a, one more question for you. So please try to see as well as to answer. Right? Question is, in which season does nature look very pretty and why? Yes, the nature looks very pretty in rainy season as I already told you. Why? Because of there we can get rain as well as uh, usually sunrises and flowers bloom. Is it correct? The nature looks very pretty in rainy season because the, they rain to grow and sun rises as well as flowers bloom. What is atom then? Simple, very clear. Atom is somewhat like spring season. When rain goes, that means at the end of rainy season and winter comes, that is entry of the winter season. In this time, that appears, that is called atom. Atom comes between rainy as well as winter, at the end of rainy and beginning of winter. See, we can call it Sharat Kala, right? Dear students, it's great task to us. It's easy to practice this activity. Here I have given you few hints to complete this para. Right? Maybe as we have already experienced, we have discussed the poem. Poem is so beautiful as Rojini Naidu has explained wonderfully. It is about clearly Atam, the season Atam. Right? What's it? See, here, fill in the blanks with clues to complete summary. What are the clues, dear children? Clues are climate, rainy, winter, so, compares, hangs on, heart, of, a, uh, like that many words we can see there. So, could you please try for a few, few minutes, one or two minutes? Yes, try it. It's good to you. Yes, I think you are trying and you will definitely write all those blanks, you will fill. Atom season is what? Climate between? Yes, you can say rainy and <coughs> winter. The poet, could you tell me, compares that the sunset, right, you are correct, tell me, sunset of cloud. Like that, could you please complete on your own? It's easy to you. I let you to complete it, right, dear children. So please complete. I'll move on to next next thing that is about you need to try at home. Before this, I'm going to just recall what we have done in this session. That could be very good to you. Then you can definitely remember it for long time. Can I go for Rehunting what I have discussed today with you, dear viewers and dear students. Really, this is a beautiful poem, as I told you. Name of this poem is Atham Song. It is written by Indian poet, that is Sarojini Naidu. We can call her the Nightingale of India. Am I correct? It's as I have given you introduction of Sarojini Naidu. 
with the name of poet and i came to do the activity which you have seen the picture as well as you tried to answer am i correct it is about the picture that is pretty pretty picture then i have given you model reading that's a, a, that's about the poem i sung i have sung it and you enjoyed singing with me there are beautiful three stanzas am i correct dear students there are three stanzas which are almost all focusing on only the nature and the beauty and as, as well as the atham atmosphere the atham and really sarojini naidu has dealt very good a uh, very good impressive thing that is atham atham is beautiful word as i told you it comes after rainy at the end of rainy and also before winter kavi hege alli adbhutavagi varnisidare nodi tumba spashtavagi alli elegalu hogirtave hage gaali maatnadutte ant helta heta tumba sundaravagi kavithena avaru varnisida alli nu enanna kandvi as a grammar aspectic aspects we have discussed their rhyming words even we can see their figure of speech also later on we'll discuss about those figure of speeches remember that in this poem we have definitely there there are comparisons right and we we have discussed glossary words they are very different and also the poet has given very clear cut idea of those words we can understand them easily after those glossary words we have discussed about the poet sarojini naidu her works and nature as well as she is famous as we have seen all these things as well as we have discussed the point that is sarojini naidu has focused mainly on indian intensely indian she has focused on india india's nature india's almost all those things like we have seen countryside fisherman and we have seen atmosphere like atham many things she is beautiful writer for us in this poem in the first stanza with this picture you have really experienced very well about atham because of uh, as i have given there this picture tells you about clearly the season atham why because of we can see over there clear moisture as well as leaves uh, which are falling and uh, which we have seen as the season atham and there is a beautiful breeze we can feel it at least we can see it and also if we touch the garden we can see their dam so at the moment of atham we can see few colors as sarojini naidu has suggested us which are those colors definitely as i told you red orange and also yellow in the sky not in the nature in the sky remember my dear students so this poem uh, this stanza second stanza beautifully dealt about actually the sorrow as well as the pleasure leaves are appreciating and blow is looking like wild and sunset hangs on cloud and there is a jo joy in the heart of sorrow how beautiful lines these are really great as our poet sarojini naidu has really given focus justice on these lines and the third stanza is so beautiful for us here even we can feel that 
the atom is speaking the atom is speaking why because of see there listen to the voice that is calling directly to the heart to my heart the voice from the wind wind is calling heart and how is the position of that heart hegide our hrudaya sthiti it is tired it is sad it is alone adakke tumba dukha agide onti agide inta paristhitiyalli adu kelta ide for its dreams igagle adara kanasugalella yen agibittu hogive hage elegalu hage hogulta saaktave hage agibittive adakkagi why should i stay behind matte nan inda cake barbardu annuvanta amsha really it is great great idea of our poet sarojini naidu dear children there we have lot so you should try to understand it easily and you can write summary of this poem so simple and very easy with that very easy language easy to understand as well as easy to write please if possible write in your own words on this poem as summary summary is simple okay as i discussed you can do it in pairs right you can sit in pairs two students in each uh, there you can ask one can ask a question and another can answer here i have given only two examples one about in which season does nature look very pretty and why this is first question and second question what is atom like that you can ask many question by just looking at the picture am i right dear students it's too easy to you definitely will do it and also ask so simple questions to your partner that is good work to you and as i given you one more activity that is about fill in the blanks with few words we can get their complete paragraph or we can say if it is stanza complete stanza so few hints i have given like that you can also prepare you can also try then it is useful and also there will be few questions to you you need to answer to those questions it's about season it's about comparison it's about who is speaking and it is about the beauty of nature all those questions come under those objective questions also if you write summary you can get four marks over there these we have discussed dear children uh, finally we can move on to the last work you can try at home what you need to do in your home dear children it could be better you try it first describe one of the seasons in your own words in few sentences how maybe if you take winter season now we are uh, in that winter season you can take winter season and explain it how is winter maybe you can start with in winter we have seen much more cold we wear sweaters like that start with few small sentences and develop that para and definitely will get this is a simple example one and simply you can move on to next season that is about rainy season or you can move on to summer season you may get more and more ideas to write paragraph it's very easy and useful to you and one more activity for you to try at home it is try to collect the pictures of the season of atom why because of it is beautiful please try and collect the picture if you get, if you collect the pictures you can explain yourselves because it's very easy definitely you might have explained it in front of anybody so you can practice their speaking skill as well as you can practice their even writing skill that helps you a lot dear students we have completed this poem today it is better please try to practice all these things what we have discussed here get them as a points to you and you can get a support of your teacher also and try to understand the poem thoroughly as well as practice language games languages language aspects then it's useful to you and it is really 
great adventure to us. Uh, we can get their advan advan advantages of these Samaveda classes. I hope that the students will get all the benefits of this Samaveda. Thank you dear children. Uh, have a nice day and do practices on these sessions. Uh, you can get this on YouTube also as well as in our Karnataka government website. Thank you very much. I am Viresh Meti from Kopala. Thank you. Anudina, anukshana, mani yellu kaliyona, kalikeya hosa hadi yali, jute gudi hetche yaha kona, santakadi kaliyona, namma hindi ayi klasinali. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Yes, ma'am.